Tyler with Woodland Frenchies and today we have an awesome video for you guys. We're here at my office here and what we're going to do for you guys today is have three basic tips that you need for you and your family um, to have ready for when your have ready for when your French or French Bulldog puppy comes home. So we're just going to go over three basic tips guys just to help you guys. It may seem basic but they're really going to help you out a bunch. So let's let's go ahead and, and show that. So, and this, this is for your home or your office, guys. Um, just to go over the first tip, um, a, lot of, a lot of people ask, what type of um, crate or character, you know, when the puppy goes to sleep, what kind of crate should you have? And this here, I'd say, would be about the ideal size, right here. So this is tip number one, what kind of crate and where to place the crate. So you can see Stella likes her crate. And this is what we had for her when she was a puppy and she still can use it here as a full grown French Bulldog. You don't want it to be too big or too small. It's about a foot and a half on width by about two foot depth. And you have a nice little bed in there for her that she likes to play around, lay around and sleep with. She sleeps in our bed, but she'll sleep in there whenever she's um, tired as well during the day. Um, so along with tip number one, what kind of crate um, such as that, you need to know also where to put the crate. So we're here at our office here, and for her to know when to go potty, you know, it needs to be close to the door that she's gonna be going to, which is that, that door right there. So we have it set right here, really close to the door. So that way she can easily go to, um, you know, to the door and let us know, hey, you need to go, to go potty. So that concludes tip number one, all about the crate, what type of crate and where to place it. Tip number two, we're gonna talk about food. Um, food is a very common question that people ask about. So obviously you have a doggy bowl ready. We had a smaller one for when she was a puppy, but this is a bigger one that she can use right here. We always have water in the, in the dog bowl. You can see there's, there's water in there. And then as far as when to feed, how much to feed, again, a very common question asked, and it can vary depending on breeder um, and um, breed size. But what I recommend is twice a day, about a half cup. So you can see here, you got this nice little scooper thing. At a half cup, we have it full. And so really easy to, to, to measure that out. And it's in this, the puppy food is in this um, plastic carrier right here. So you can dip it, easily measure, pour it in there. We already fed Stella today. We'll just give her a little bit though, just to show that. <laughs> she loves her food. But again, how much to feed? Half a cup in the morning when you wake up, half a cup in the afternoon um, is, is a good thing. You can split it up into three meals if you want, but for a puppy, it's just nice to do it twice a day because then you know, as soon as they're done eating, you need to take them outside. It's, if you feed them more than twice a day, you're gonna have to constantly take them outside and kind of get that routine of potty training. So we just, we've kept it at two days, twice a day for her. Seems to work out really well for her. And just kind of a bonus tip for you guys, do your training before you feed your puppy in the afternoon. That's the best time to do training. So there's a little bonus tip with the feeding. So we got how much, what to put your dog food in, have a nice container like this. You can put it in the cabinet real easy, just dump your bag in there. Have a nice little scooper thing and you're good to go. And all I recommend always to use whatever the breeder is on feeding the puppies, use that same dog food. Definitely use that same dog food. Um, just to keep the routine, not to affect any um, variables for that puppy to get sick or have, you know, not a solid stool. You want that puppy, puppy to have a solid stool, so. Okay, tip number three, um, as far as, you know, bringing your puppy home, obviously have toys, have, um, you know, all that stuff ready. But I think a good basic tip number three that I tell everybody, here's still is always, you know, people want to go right to the harness, which is fine if, if that's your preference, you can, but I recommend, especially for training, leash, when you start the leash training, have a leash and a collar. So don't go for the harness right away, guys. Um, when you do the training, sit, uh, sit, sit, good sit. It's just a lot, sit. It's just a lot easier to do the leash and it's just easier to help with the training. So you're just, able to, you know, now she's, you know, messing with the leash, wants to play. Um, it's just, you can say no, good girl, good no. And then let's go walk, let's go walk, come. Now you can easier, a lot easier control her 
with the leash. And I'm kind of acting as a puppy. She's fine with leash training right now, or leash, but um, tell us it. Sit. Good sit. Good sit. It's just a lot easier to, to do your leash training with an actual leash. So that would be our, my third tip is to get a collar and a leash to start out with. Eventually you can get a harness, not a problem. So hope these basic tips help just to kind of go over them again. We talked about tip number one, what size crate, where to place the crate. Tip number two was how much to feed your puppy, French Bulldog puppy or French and puppy. And kind of some bonus tips with how to do that. And then tip number three was to use a actual leash um, and not a harness for when you get your puppy for the leash training. So again, real basic stuff, but again, it's just really gonna help you have a great start when you get your new French Bulldog puppy or Frenchton. So hope this helps guys. Give this video a thumbs up. Uh, follow our channel if you really appreciated what, what you learned here and hit that notification button. And we'll see you in our next video here at Woodland Frenchies. Thanks, have a great day.